Hi, this is Multi Topic Talk for the fourth part of my Let's Play Prince of Persia The Sands of Time. So, we will keep going on where we left on the last part. So, basically, now we just got the dagger a few minutes ago. And we faced off our first enemies in the, the castle where most of the game will take place. So as you can see, it's a very athletic part. I think, yes, here we have the first l life upgrade and I really ma made some beginner mistake here. Like that. Hey, that camera, I don't like it. Okay, there we go. So here, we have many rooms like this one in this game and those rooms are secret some are obvious others are hidden and once you found those you gain extra life you see now my life bar is bigger so I can have more injury than before and not die from it. As explained on the last video, those gray cloud, they give more sand to use after you, you found eight of those, I think. Now, that's the first time we see scarabs. I personally don't like scarabs because they're weak. And like, I'm not even tempted on blocking them. So like, yeah. They tried to give diversity in the enemies type we face. I personally think that all the different types of animals we face in the game due to the sands of time, it's feel pointless. It's good on a story point knowing that the sands of time even affect animals and and insect however dealing with those is boring it's not like the monsters because they are weak and they are just annoying to to beat je ne comprenais pas le sens de ce que je venais de voir mais je savais avec une certitude que je ne pouvais m'expliquer que ces créatures ailées obéissaient à un maître. L'homme qui m'avait incité à ouvrir le sablier avait atteint son objectif. Et pour une raison que j'ignorais, il convoitait également la dague et était prêt à tout pour s'en emparer. S'il la voulait tant que cela, je la lui donnerais, moi, en la plongeant au plus profond de son cœur. Oh. 
another athletic part where we jump to do some parkour the boring scarabs they are back It's not my first time playing this game. It's around the sixth or the eighth time I, I go over this game. I played a lot, but I still don't feel like I know that game perfectly. Dress carabs, great. By the end of the game, the sword we will have is going to be so OP that the scarab will die after one hit. Now it's taking like three hits, killing them. Very soon we will have our first puzzle to solve. It's a very easy one, that's the easiest to solve in this game. And you see now we have a new enemy to face, the girl. That girl is very, very strong. If she lands you a hit, it's gonna be painful. As you can see, I just slowed down time. I don't usually do that, but now I want to finish this fight quick. I will always prioritize to kill the girls first because she's the strongest enemy we got early in the game. The girls are really, really deadly. Since there's no more enemy, let's drink water to rip to make our life bar full.
I don't see why he stopped me. Wow, okay. Oof, I get beaten down in this one. As you can see, she really removed away a lot of my L bar. That's why I usually kill the girls first. But now I'm stuck with three of these. Oh wow. It's sad to end on that note, but we'll see each other in the next part.